welcome back to English with Lucy. I have a grammar video for you. This is very exciting. It's been a little while since I've last posted a grammar video, but this topic has been very highly requested. Today. Hello everyone and welcome back to English with Lucy. I have a grammar video for you. This is very exciting. It's been a little while since I've last posted a grammar video, but this topic has been very highly requested. Today, we are going to talk about used to, used to, how are they different? Would, to be used to, and to get used to. If you have any doubts about the use of these, then this lesson is for you. And of course, I have a quiz. There will be a quiz at the end of this lesson for you to test your learning, so stay till the end. I have created a PDF for the lesson. All of my email list subscribers get the PDFs for my lessons. If you would like to receive the PDF for today's lesson, click on the link in the description box, enter your email address, you sign up to my mailing list and it will be sent straight to your inbox. I would also like to send out a special thank you to Shona from Perfect English Grammar. Her website helped so much with this video. It is the mother of all grammar websites. I've put the link in the description box. Check it out if you want to improve your grammar. Before we get started, I would just like to thank the sponsor of today's video. It is Lingoda, your new language school. You can attend this language school from the comfort of your own home 24-7 at your own pace. Cut the travel time, not the quality. Lingoda has an interactive curriculum with average class sizes of just three to four students with amazing qualified teachers. You can learn English, business English, French, Spanish and German and prices start from just eight euros per group class. I have attended many Lingoda English classes to make sure that they are consistently ideal for my students and I was so impressed and excited by them. The teachers are engaging and entertaining and the class materials, which you can download for personal use, are top notch. You can see I am having a pretty good time in my class. You can get 20 euros off your first month at Lingoda by clicking on the link in the description box and using my code LUCY13. If you aren't sure, you can experience their seven day free trial with three free classes. You can try before you buy. What are you waiting for? Okay, let's talk about used to and used to. Firstly, let's focus on the pronunciation because I know this is very confusing for many students because when we say used on its own, we use the z sound and the d sound, used. But to say used to is quite a mouthful. So you will hear speakers of English saying used to, used to. That means that both used to and used to are pronounced in the same way in normal conversation. Used to, used to. This makes it slightly easier for you in spoken English, but in written English, you do have to be careful. Let's focus on used to. We use used to to talk about past habits that we don't do in the present or past states that are no longer true. Used to with the base form of a verb, also called the bare infinitive, but I'm going to call it the base verb here. I used to do yoga, but now I don't have time. I used to go to a language school, but I finished the course. I used to live in Seville, but now I live in England. I used to be a waitress, but now I'm a teacher. And that's an example of a state. That's not talking about a habit. Something like, I used to have short hair. That wasn't a habit, that was a state. So that's using used with the D at the end. But you will see that people use use with no D at the end. This is a point of confusion for many of my students. In questions and negatives, we use use instead. I didn't used to like avocados, but now I love them. Did you used to work at the corner shop? He didn't used to care about his appearance, but now he takes pride in it. Did they used to go to the same school as us? It's worth noting that when you use never, 
You do use used with the D. He didn't used to care about his appearance. He never used to care about his appearance. We will do lots of testing of this in the quiz at the end. But now it's time to talk about would. When somebody is telling a story about the past, you might hear them use would plus base verb. When I lived in Seville, we would eat lunch at 4 p.m. When I was studying Spanish, I would watch Spanish TV shows. Now you might think, ah, so it's the same as used to. Not exactly. We can't use would plus base verb to talk about past states, only past habits. An example, I would have short hair does not mean the same thing as I used to have short hair. Or I would live in Seville does not mean the same thing as I used to live in Seville. So remember, would plus base verb is only appropriate for past habits or repeated actions. Let's move on to to be used to. When we want to talk about things that we are accustomed to or things that feel normal to us, we use to be plus used to plus verb ing. An example, I'm used to running in cold weather, so I don't mind it. I'm accustomed to running in cold weather. It feels normal to me to run in cold weather. Another example, my fiance Will is used to working hard. So when we go on holiday, he becomes restless. Working hard is normal to him. It's what he is accustomed to. We can also use to be used to plus noun or pronoun. I live in the countryside, so I am used to mud. For example, wet soil. He is very handsome, so he is used to compliments. He is accustomed to compliments. My sister is annoying, but I'm used to her. Remember that here, the verb to be can be put into any tense. When I started waitressing, I wasn't used to carrying trays of drinks. True story, I dropped so many <laughs> trays of drinks. <laughs> Soon, I will be used to taking public transport, so it won't be so intimidating. Finally, we have to get used to. Different to to be used to. Here, you can think of to get as to become, to become used to. You form it in the same way as to be used to. We use to get used to plus verb ing or to get used to plus noun or pronoun. We use it to talk about a change in what we are accustomed to. Again, this can be used in any tense. At first, I didn't like stretching after running, but I got used to it or I am getting used to public speaking. I am becoming accustomed to public speaking. Or I hope I'll get used to driving in London soon. True story, I have been driving for four years and I still am not used to driving in London. I need to do it more to become more accustomed to it. Okay, I hope this lesson clarified some of your doubts, but to make sure it's fully in your brain, I now have a quiz for you. It's a multiple choice quiz. You can write your answers in the comments section down below or you can download the PDF and do it on there. Number one, when I started waitressing, I needed help with carrying trays, but now I them by myself. When I started waitressing, I needed help with carrying trays, but now I am used to carrying them by myself. Number two, I every day, but now I don't have time. I used to read English every day, but now I don't have time. Number three, don't worry, this grammar is easy. You it in no time. Don't worry, this grammar is easy. You will get used to it in no time. Number four. I was surprised to see her running. She, when I knew her. I was surprised to see her running. She didn't used to run when I knew her. Number five. 
when I had to get the train to work, I very early. When I had to get the train to work, I used to get up very early. Number six, when I was younger, I to the shop with my grandma to buy sweets. When I was younger, I would go to the shops with my grandma to buy sweets. Number seven, whenever we went to London, we always in the Grand Hotel. Whenever we went to London, we always used to stay in the Grand Hotel. Number eight, when you were a teenager, did you to rap music? When you're a teenager, did you used to listen to rap music? Number nine, she didn't about fashion, but now she spends a lot of money on clothes. She didn't used to care about fashion, but now she spends a lot of money on clothes. Number 10, I don't like revising for exams, but I, it. I don't like revising for exams, but I am getting used to it. Right, that is it for the quiz. Share your results in the comments section down below. I really enjoyed making this grammar lesson for you. Thank you again to Shona from Perfect English Grammar. Her website is in the description box. Don't forget to check out Lingoda. You can get 20 euros off your first month there. Just click on the link in the description box and use my code Lucy13. Okay, bye Lucy, thank you so much. Guys, good evening. And yeah, I know, it's a lot of information put together. Uh, it's, it's that we are talking about the past and when we talk about uh, this topic is because we are talking about past habits or things that we did in the past, maybe not so much or so often uh, not a day. All right, so guys, welcome to our class. It's gonna be terrific. Pay attention as usual, be concentrated uh, as normal, and you, you, you'll see what, what's going to come out out of here. Guys, starting right now and sharing my screen uh, with you, and let's waste no longer. I mean, time is a treasure, and we are going to just start. So what is the idea? The idea is we are going to start talking, understanding uh, what is actually uh, the difference between uh, these uh, three ones. Uh, one is used to. Another different thing is be used to. Now we are integrating uh, the verb to be. And finally, we are going to talk a little bit about get used to. Get used to. All right, so let's get started. Okay, guys, I don't know if you got lots of information from the video. Okay, I hope uh, you uh, did, but if you didn't, I'm going to start showing you uh, like uh, this copy because we are going to talk about past habit, things that maybe we used to do in the past and maybe uh, we don't uh, actually uh, at present uh, very uh, much. So let's start talking about things that we use to do when we were children, okay? Obviously, guys, when we were children, we used to do many different things. Uh, actually, we don't do them very often because now we are teenagers and we are not gonna behave like children, obviously not. All right, guys, but we used to do many, many interesting things when we used to be children. For example, I remember this one. Okay, I remember number one here is climb trees. If you ask me, teacher, did you used to climb trees? Of course, even I, 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 I thought, or I used to think that I was Spider-Man. I remember one day, ah! falling from a tree. Yeah, it was a hard falling, you know? And, 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 and that, that was normal. Uh, that is 
you know, in my memories. It's, it was just nice, not, not nice memories because I survived. <laughs> As I survived, the memory is nice. Or, and there was no like consequences. Okay, so let's say that that was nothing. All right, another is plant trees, especially that is something that as children, we used to do when we were at school. So in the biology class, teacher was talking about the nation and yeah, the special project at the biology class at school was planting trees. You know, okay, that, that is, is reforesting. Reforesting, okay, that, that is good because it's gonna help the planet. Okay, another is get whore. Why? Because when we are children, uh, we are like crazy. We are not ever thinking about the consequences. We are just doing things passionately, you know? And sometimes we don't pay attention that there are things that, gosh, can be dangerous. For example, you run in a school and you run in as a crazy guy and it's concrete. It is no grass. It's no snow. That if maybe you fall down, it's not going to be so, you know? But if you are running, on pavement, concrete, and you ah, pull down, hey, you're gonna have a lot of bruises, scars, lots of things, you know? So that's no good. This is, you're gonna get whore. And that is normal when we are at school, is the teacher, Carlitos, don't run, don't run. You're gonna get whore, you're gonna get whore. You're gonna get her. Te vas a hacer daño. You're gonna get her. And yeah, teacher, we never pay attention. And that is why many times we have ow, some stitches. Because sometimes when we run, we fall down, we open wounds on our knees or, or hands or elbows. And sometimes we go to the doctor and the doctor give us some stitches, you know, and the wound is going to be closed and you're going to heal, okay, which is good. All right. Another is half a pet. If you ask me, teacher, yes, I have a pet. Its name is a Jack. He's a Jack Russell, and he's a beautiful dog. All right? So sometimes, especially when we are children, our parents give us a pet, uh, and that is like a present. Sometimes we don't understand why many parents give us a pet when we're children. Let me tell you why. Uh, when you've got a pet, uh, you are constantly learning a lesson about responsibility. If you love your dog and you're a good owner, I mean, you're a good owner, okay? So you're gonna uh, wash your dog, you're gonna walk your dog, you're gonna feed your dog, and you're gonna love your dog, okay? That, that, that makes part of the, the project that maybe many parents got when they give us a pet, and is to show us a little bit about responsibility and commitment. Because when we are in love, when we love, we gotta be committed. We gotta be committed, okay? Very good. Another is handle disgusting animals. Hey, that was me, especially car rushes. Teacher, what a car rush. If you say, teacher, what is a car rush for me? A car rush is the most disgusting animal ever in the world for me. A car rush. Ah. Yeah, teacher, what is the name? Cockroach. Yeah, it's horrible animal. If you ask me, teacher, why? Because cockroaches, I don't know, every time that I see a car rush, I, I think it's not hygienic. It's disgusting. Ah, wow. This is a car rush. You know, car rush. And this animal is everywhere in the kitchen, everywhere on the walls. If you leave or you leave leftovers uh, in the kitchen, surely this animal will be there. Okay, so don't leave leftover. If you're gonna leave leftover, clean the dishes and put the leftovers inside the bag and close the bag because these animals got guys an special sense. I don't know how, 
but they know where food is. And sometimes when you don't cover your food, these animals actually walk around, walk on your food. Okay, this is disgusting. For example, guys, don't tell me that teacher maybe is wrong, but if you are at a restaurant and you see a car rush, immediately you associate the restaurant to disgusting situation. Maybe you don't want to go to that restaurant anymore. Okay, just because you know there are car rushes and maybe you're going to think what you are eating is something that was totally a step by car rushes, okay, hours before. Hey, I understand. Let's not talk about that situation. And no yeah, I know it's totally disgusting. All right, disgusting. I'm gonna go with another play with dolls. Play with dolls. Uh, for example, uh, I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask. Uh, Santiago Narvaez. Santiago, tell me something. What is America? America. America. What is the most famous doll in the United States? What is the most famous doll? Hmm. That is a very good question, Mr. Santiago Narvaez. What is the most famous doll uh, in, uh, 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 in, in the United States? Ah, very easy. All right, David Peña, maybe, uh, maybe you. Do you know what is the most famous doll in the whole world? Teacher, I don't know what it's called. Uh, I'm gonna, and you don't know what is doll? No. no. For example, Max Steel is a very famous doll, and he's sold in Christmas time. Max Steel is a doll. You know, when we say a doll, yeah, when we say a doll, it could be a, a boy or it could be a girl doll. Okay, when we are talking about dolls for for uh, girls. What is the most famous doll in the world? There is a one that is very, very famous. Uh, I continue? Mm. For example, look at the new edition. The new edition is this. Tribute. Tribute to Carol G. Tribute to Carol G. So Barbie's house bar house to uh, uh, acknowledge Carol G. Barbie created Carol G. Barbie. The Carol G. Barbie new edition Barbie dolls. Okay, no sabían esta es la nueva edición de las Barbie y sacaron a Carol G. All right, gosh man, it's a doll. <laughs> you know. All right, so when each a in the next few, just say, what is the most famous doll in the world? Is Barbie. Barbie is the most famous doll ever. And what is Barbie's boyfriend? Ken. Okay, Ken is another very handsome, uh, you know, uh, doll. And obviously, gotta be handsome because Barbie is beautiful. Hey, Barbie is not gonna have a, a horrible or an uh, ugly boyfriend. I don't think so. All right, remember, Barbie is very conceited. Barbie is very conceited. I'm gonna, I don't know, guys, if you know what is conceited, but anyhow, I'm gonna open the vocabulary and I'm gonna open and I'm gonna write down this word because it's beautiful. Every time that people say, teacher, what is conceited? What is conceited? I don't know why, but uh, what comes immediately to my mind is a fairy tale. Yeah, it's a fairy tale. What's the fairy tale that comes to my mind? Is Snow White. Why is Snow White? Because in the story of fairy tale Snow White, um, Snow White was the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. The most beautiful girl in the kingdom. You know, and there was like an evil queen. And the evil queen's got a world time holding a mirror. And she used to repeat, mirror, mirror, tell me who is the most beautiful woman in the kingdom. And obviously, guys, the mirror was honest and say, obviously, it's no you, my queen. The most beautiful girl in the kingdom is Snow White. And you know the rest of the story, you know, because the queen 
couldn't support, couldn't stand that um, Snow White was the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. You know? Okay, so when we are, especially children, we use, or in my case, I used to play a lot with those. Uh, back in my time, if you were a boy, it was like, suppose that you gotta uh, play with special dolls for boys. For example, in my case, I used to play a lot with soldiers, little soldiers, plastic, you know? And I remember all day long playing with my little soldiers, okay, like in a battlefield. And I remember when you are a child, when we are children, we have something, guys, that we start losing the rest of our lives. I don't know why. I don't know why. You know? And that is actually imagination. When we are children, guys, when we are children, we are the most incredible guys imagining things our imagination has no limits you know but then later on we start thinking about stupid things i imagine and we start losing that beautiful imagination that we used to have you know i don't know why for me childhood childhood la niñez childhood is the best part of your life, you know? Because when you are a child, for example, you can ride a tricycle, no bicycle, tricycle. Tricycle is because God, how many wheels? Three. Obviously, that is why you say tri. Tricycle is because it's three wheels, you know? That is uh, one of the first vehicles that we start using when we are children, you know, uh, because it's necessary for us uh, to learn to keep the balance, you know, and then uh, we uh, move on to use uh, skates, patines, or sometimes skateboard, patineta, and later on, we use a bicycle, all right? That, that is good. That is things uh, that we start doing in our childhood. In my case, I used to ride a bicycle a lot every day. Uh, I even went to a school uh, on a bicycle, all right? Ah, this is nice. I love it. I'm going to show it to you. <laughs> I remember um, when I was at school, okay, not a day. I know, I know, I know not a day is called differently. You know, I know not a day is called differently because not a day people uh, say uh, bullying. Bullying, it's called bullying. Bullying is when you um, use your power, most of the time is physical power, most of the time. is physical power uh, to domain, to control, uh, to scare uh, other people. You know, maybe the main motivation of a bully is a, uh, intimidation is intimidation if you are intimidated okay you are scared okay so maybe that person can control you okay so that is why um i tell these um guys because i used to be a student okay i gotta recognize that i was a troublesome when i was back at school i was very troublesome in english troublesome is busca pleitos okay that was me all right, so I, I didn't have problems with bullies back in my time, you know, but nowadays it's very common uh, that you see bullies. For example, I remember when I was fourth grade, fourth grade, I had a, a guy that was bullying me all the time. I remember when I was about to, to get my break time, okay, this guy all the time say, Agudelo, give me the money. I say, what? Give me your money. That, that was like, a robbery, like like a, a theft. Give me your money. And I remember that I, I say no, and he immediately punched me on my tummy. <gasps> Guys, I couldn't breathe. And the guy was like this big. Oh, so it was very hard for me to confront this guy because obviously this guy was bigger, stronger, taller than me. He, he's uh, I say like a badass, okay? American people say badass, 
En inglés, badass es como un matón, un, el que hace el matoneo, ¿no? El malo de la película. All right, a badass, man. This guy was a badass every day. You know what was my problem? I, okay, I don't know. I, it, it was not like some of you uh, because actually uh, we were, say we, I'm talking about me and my little brother. Look, I'm not going to say little brother because he's only one year younger than me. He's, uh, I, I am, uh, and he's only one year younger. And I remember all the time um, when I had, well, I used to have problems at school, my little brother couldn't help me. My father was working all day long, working all day long. And nobody helped me, you know? Um, and in, in, back in my time, uh, the theory, the idea, the assumption uh, that people used to have is if you have a problem, face it, okay? You know, you say, what? If you have a problem at school, you face it. You solve it. Don't bring your school problems to home. What the hell? Yes, I remember my father telling me that. That means that if you have a bully at school, you had to solve the problem by yourself. Oh, gosh. I, I imagine that. I, I used to fight with other kids when I was at school. You know, I, I was not a bully. Okay, I, 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 I'm going to be very emphatic. I was not a bully, okay, but I didn't or I couldn't stand bullies at all. You know, I remember my little brother was one. There's another guy and in fifth grade that is, you know, teasing me and bothering me. I say, hey, what? Don't worry. Tomorrow at the break time, You're gonna point with your finger. Who is that guy? I remember telling my little brother that, you know, hey, because I was the elder, okay? He was the young guy. I was supposed to, to stand for him. In English, you say stand for. I'm gonna write it down, okay? Stand for, sacar o poner la cara por alguien. Okay, I remember I was the elder brother, okay? I had to stand for my little one. That is the problem when you are, The elder, you have, okay, the main role. All right, very good. I'm going to step on puddles. I don't know why. That is very interesting, especially because you are near a puddle, and for a reason that you just can't understand, a guy just come running up, rushing up, jump, and everything finish with a big step on the puddle, And at the moment, all that water is soaking and getting wet you. You're going to get wet. Oh, gosh, Carlitos, what are you doing? I, I jump on the puddle. Yes, but look at my clothes. They say, wow, but it's nice. Yeah, I don't know why, but when we are children, we find pretty interesting uh, stepping on puddles. Normal, you know? Another is like, ooh. Favorite, favorite. Okay, Mary Go Mary was another of my, you know, on my list of uh, um, a thing that I love to do at the park or in the park, especially the slides. Ooh, okay, you feel, you know, like like the adrenaline just right here in your tummy, and that give you like some emotion. I think so. All right. Another talking about Halloween, Halloween. Okay. Trick or thread, trick or thread. Okay. That was the very famous uh, phrase that children used to say, especially a Halloween Eve, just to get candies. Okay. In Colombia, it's tricky, tricky. Halloween, dame dulces para mí. You knock on the door, you say the song, you repeat the, the words, and the person is going to give you a Candies immediately. All right. For example, I'm going to start asking Jill Bradley. Jill Bradley, uh, tell me something. On Halloween Eve, on Halloween Eve, did you uh, wear a dress? An special dress, Jill Bradley? Spider-Man or something like that? No. Any? Oh, gosh. These guys, now they are boring. 
Okay, why? That, that is, that's nice. All right, I'm going to ask uh, maybe to Helen, Mariana, Helen, on Halloween's Eve, did you wear, uh, I mean, a, a fairy uh, dress? Yes, teacher. Which one? But teacher is from Disney. A Disney, and what is the name of the Disney character that you uh, were uh, dressed on? Mm. Descendiente del mal. Ah, okay. The evil descendants. Evil descendants. Oh, okay. I, I, I don't know that, that, that Disney character. Okay, teacher needs to get updated. Yes, I think so. I, I, I don't know who they are. Okay, thank you, Helen. Okay, another is Tickle. Tickle is when you coochie, 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 ah, coochie, coochie. Tickle, 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 tickle. Coochie. Especially here on your ribs, or sometimes your mother tickle you here. Like, oh, mom, no. Or man, on the palm of your feet, on the palm of your feet is unbearable. Okay, I just can't. Okay, I'm gonna show you more vocabulary about past habits. Oh, Hi, that brings me very incredible good memories. I used to play the Jojo a lot. I used to play the Jojo a lot. You know, gosh, man, incredible. Play the Jojo. And I was very good, I remember. Really, man. Nice. I knew good tricks. The other day, I was eating a hot dog on the street. And there just come to the place a guy telling that he was a professional, okay, working with the judge. Guys, and these guys start making tricks. And I was like, it's speechless. Believe me, guys, I was speechless. I'm going to write down the word speechless. Yo me quedé con la boca abierta. Speechless. You know? And I said, oh, guys, he was a professional using the jojo. I was like, oh my gosh. Could you imagine, guys? Could you imagine you working with the jojo that way? You could be very popular at school. Hi. Santiago, please, could you play the Jojo okay, for all of us, the girls, to see you? Okay, yes, man, you're going to be famous. Yeah, okay. Obviously, if you are a good mathematics student, it's going to be better. Okay, but hey, another is jump. I don't know, when you are a, a child, you're very energetic. All the time, you're jumping, jumping everywhere. You are like a kangaroo. You are like a rabbit. All day long, you're jumping like a grasshopper. I'm gonna write down this word. This is nice word, is grasshopper. Or grasshopper, salta montes. Yeah, all day long jumping, you know? Ooh, 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 ooh. hey, different, different. This is rollerblade, okay? Wow, rollerblade, okay? Ah. I remember, okay? No, not roller skate, no, no, no. Roller blade, the, the old ones. Four wheels. I love that. I had a friend. I used to have a friend called Oscar. Hey, guys, this guy was a professional, okay? Using the, the roller blades. And, and he taught me, but I never, I, I gotta be honest. I never was as good as him. Roller blading, never. Okay, I, 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 I knew how to do it. I knew how to do it. I was good at doing it, but I was never as good as he. He was very good rollerblading, all right? I know that this, this is very popular, especially when you go to the park, the playground inside the park, is the ride the sea zoo. Ride the sea so sea so. And, and this is another fantastic thing when you go to the park because you can feel when you're up and you're going to be down. 
then you're going up and then you're going to go down. Okay, and that is interesting when you're a child, especially because you're speaking to the person face to face and you are like doing that and that is going to be good. Okay, the not so popular nowadays is a, a pinwheels. A pinwheels is a, this one. I don't know what is the name. Guys, what is the name of this in Spanish? Do you know what is the name in Spanish, David, uh, of this? I don't know what is the name in Spanish. Hmm. That is interesting. Helen, do you know what is this called in Spanish? Any idea? No, teacher. Me neither. I don't know how to say that. It's very interesting because when we talk about pinwheels, okay, uh, for us, that is not so common, teacher. Pin what? Okay, I say pinwheels. When you say pinwheels, in Spanish, it's like un molinete. Un molino, un molinete, da vueltecita. All right? Sometimes you said uh, rueda pirotecnica, but that got to have some, uh, um, uh, how do you say, uh, uh, that thing that is explosive? You're going to say gunpowder. Gunpowder, pólvora. But when, when, when he's got gunpowder, I'm going to write down gunpowder. Okay, please, gunpowder. You know why you say gunpowder, no? Gunpowder, because it's two different words. You say gang, gang is a weapon. It's like a ch -ch rifle or a pistol, you know, or, or a gun. And you say gunpowder. What is powder? Is something that you put in the past inside your rifle, okay? You put a small metal part. And you use like a stick to press the steel the bottom. And you were ready, okay, just to fight. That is why uh, people say, uh, set, ready, fight. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to say, set, ready, fight. All right? Uh, sorry, fire. Okay? En sus, ¿cómo es? Ah, en español, en, en sus apunten y fuego. Ok. Uh, uh, yeah. You, you're going to the other side. Ok. My gosh, man. Nobody wants to hear these words. <laughs> Not in life. All right. Play with building blocks, especially when you are um, very little. Uh, this is very important to start creating you imagination uh, this is good because you start associating colors you start um, identifying shapes and this is very important you can create with building blocks uh, and this is something that promote uh, good imagination obviously guys especially when we are in august no long ago okay we had like a windy month uh, especially in, uh, on uh, windy month, people uh, have the tendency to fly kites, okay? What is a kite, okay? A kite is like a plane, but it's created with the sticks and plastic or paper, you know, the principles of uh, flying are the same, okay? The air gives uh, some... Uh, uh, sustain uh, to the plane and if you move it and it's very windy you can put your a kite very high in the sky all right uh, that is very common uh, for many of us okay suck my dog um, martinez what teacher martinez don't suck your dog all right teacher <laughs> all right because all the time we do the other way around okay we do uh, the contrary uh, of what we are said okay soak my dome and carry a blanket that is crazy especially when you are a baby and you are sleeping you are an, as, um, an sleepwalker and maybe you are <laughs> okay just carrying a blanket and sucking your dome Oh, what happened, Carlitos? Mom, can I just live with you? What, Carlitos? Can I just live with you? It's thundering. And I am afraid. Oh, gosh, man. Uh, okay, Carlitos. Only for tonight. 
Don't tell me the same tomorrow night. Okay? Well, mom. Um, okay, you know. Okay, so build houses of cars. For me, this is a competition. How high you can build a, a house of cards? Okay, as high as you can, you're going to be the winner. The problem is you need to be very careful because these little pieces of uh, paper, they are very light. Anything can may move them. All right, so if you want to just keep them steady, fix just right there, okay, you need to be very careful and skillful using your hands. Yeah, totally. All right, another is shoot guns. This is something forbidden at school, okay, in my time. I don't know not a day, but uh, shoot a gun, masticar chicle. That is forbidden in my time, prohibido en mi tiempo. Forbidden, totally forbidden. If you were seen, if you were seen shooing a gun inside the class, oh man, you were going to have a terrible problem and you were going to be sent immediately to the coordination room and you were going to have like a report. Teacher, what? Yes, only for shooing guns, you know, and blow bubbles. Okay, sometimes you blow and blow a big bottle and, and immediately pour, and all the bubble was on your face, and you start like removing, but it was very sticky, very sticky. Gosh, man. That, that was hard. Can you imagine, okay, just right here, eyebrows, eyelashes, and sometimes your hair. Oh, man, I remember that, okay? That is very sticky. Sticky in Spanish is pegajoso. I remember competition. Hey, who can just blow the biggest bubble? And I remember two, three gums. Oh, and you start blowing and blowing. And woo, I remember. Okay, I used to see swings. Oh, man. What is the most popular thing in a playground? For me, it's not a secret. More than uh, slides. Ooh. More than merry go merry. More than a seesaw. Ooh. Obviously, it's the swings. It's the swings. And nice because sometimes you are pull and you are push. You are pull and you are push. And sometimes you go home so high that sometimes you feel, you know, that uh, feeling uh, in uh, your tummy, you know, is uh, called uh, dizziness or vertigo. El vértigo in your tummy. I mean, no siente eso en la pancita. Tommy. Okay, very good. I'm just going to go ahead giving you more vocabulary. This is very common. This is something that children especially uh, uh, draw on the floor. They write uh, big numbers and they start hoping on the different colors and shapes, and then they bend down and pick up something. They just uh, exchange the position of the body and they complete the cycle, okay? This is called play hopscotch. This is a very interesting uh, name, hopscotch, maybe because he's from there at uh, this um, popular game, okay? In Spanish, is called rayuela, and sometimes people also que avioncito. Some other people say golosa. Juguemos a la golosa. I don't know why. <laughs> say what? Okay, if you didn't know it. Okay, that is good information for you now. Okay, guys, skateboard. Professional people. If you go to Parque Cafetero, it's a, a, a downtown in Armenia. You can see many children. They don't do anything else but skating board all day long okay i love sport 
but sometimes you need to keep a balance because you can see guys all day long on the skateboards doing nothing, only skateboarding all day long, which is good because it's a sport, all right? I'm not criticizing this, okay? But I say that sometimes you need to keep a balance, okay? Another is draw is artistic, very common when you were back to school. Uh, I used to draw very well when I uh, used to be at school. That was like my passion. Okay, coloring and drawing different things. Common, 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 common game. Play hide and seek. All your students, somebody just put the face on the wall, okay, and start counting. One, two, three. Everybody start hiding, running and hiding in different places where they can be seen. You know, and when you finish counting, 20. Ready. You start looking for everybody. Ooh, where is Nicolas Molina? Okay. Hey, Tosh! For Nicolas Molina. All right. He's just right there. I saw you, Nico. Come out. Come out. Uh, where I going? Is that Helen? Let me see. Yes, Helen. Okay, Helen. Oh, for you. Okay, I see you come out. Okay, and this is play hide and seek. It's nice. You know, it's nice, but sometimes you need to be very careful, okay, to be just plenty mingled there, okay, just in the dark places or behind something. Okay, good. Uh, link a lollipop. Uh, uh, when I was at school, I remember big, big lollipops like this. And you were like, wow, oh my God. It was everlasting. Una chupeta que no se terminaba. Deliciously eaten by me back in my time. Okay, so when you say lollipop, okay, boom, boom, boom. It's a very famous brand on lollipops. Another very famous brand on lollipops is Pirulito. Yes, Pirulito. It's another famous uh, one. Okay, another. Play with the slingshot. I love it. Una onda. Okay, hello, Mariana. Oh, teacher, sorry. It was no intention. It was not on purpose. <laughs> All right, play with the slingshot. I love the slingshot. Uh, this is like a weapon. People can be killed by a slingshot. That is why it's not so good to play with this, you know, because you can get hurt somebody else or even you can get hurt yourself. So I don't think it's a good idea. Another is where my older brother, my older sister, or even my parents' club. I don't know, because maybe you feel important like your father or like your mother and you were his or her club, okay? And that sometimes made you uh, see like a little bit funny, you know, comical, you know? And that, that is why as you look, okay? Another is John Rob teacher Alirio is very good. Jump in the rope. I am almost a professional. <clears throat> no, I'm not exaggerating. I love it. I have been jumping the rope since I was a teenager. And I never stopped. If you tell me, teacher, what is another thing that you used to do when you were a child is play video games. Teacher, what was your favorite video game when you were a child? What? That is a question. Talking seriously. My most famous game when I was at school, when I was, when I was a kid, that was definitely Mario Bros. <gasps> yes, I remember playing Mario Bros all day long. Mario Bros. Okay, that was just amazing. You know, not a day people don't play Mario Bros because he Mario is not so famous. But when I was a child, Mario Bros was the most important game that you play. No, obviously, no, 
no in PlayStation or Xbox because those um, uh, consoles uh, didn't exist. Uh, back in my time, the console that was uh, uh, known uh, was Nintendo. <laughs> I remember Nintendo. Okay, Nintendo was very funny uh, because it was uh, like, I'm going to show you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you because this, this brings me memories, guys. I'm going to show you Nintendo. Okay, I used to have a Nintendo. Nintendo was like this. This, this. this was Nintendo console, you know? And this cassette, okay, you uh, put it in, and uh, this was uh, Mario Bros. And you play Mario Bros, you know? Uh, with, the, uh, with the controls, okay, that was fantastic. Okay, so that was very common. This is another, uh, not only for girls, I used to play that, is Swing the Hula Hop. The hula hop, okay, hula hula, you know, and you move the ring around your hips and you try to keep it just right there or keep the balance. That is only kept by moving your hips constantly and keeping the ring, okay, like uh, in the same position, okay? Very common when you are at school. So, Jiso post, you're intelligent. This is not for everybody. Because some puzzles or jigsaw puzzle, you know, look at what is the name, jigsaw puzzle. Sometimes it's not necessary to say the uh, both words. Sometimes people say only puzzle or sometimes people say jigsaw. But if you can put it together, okay, rompecabezas. That is very good because you have like an image. The image is unscrambled, you know, unscrambled. And the idea is you need to organize and try to remember what is the position of every uh, piece, every piece, and put them all together, okay, and uh, create the image. I'm going to go on. Fly paper planes. Okay. Back in my time, that was something that made you be in a problem with the teacher especially when the teacher was in the class and you were like throwing, you know, fly paper planes, you know, and the plane was sometimes, wow, beautiful, beautifully playing, you know, around and you were like, wow. And obviously, guys, the class was interrupted and teacher didn't like it all. Okay, so play marbles. <laughs> Jugar con las canicas, marbles. Play marbles, okay? So the idea is you're gonna just hit the other marble, okay? And this way you're gonna complete like the sequence and you're gonna oh, win. Another is save money in a piggy bank. Okay, it's not necessary to be children to save money in the piggy bank. If you ask me, teacher, do you have a piggy bank? I'm gonna show you my piggy bank. This is my piggy bank, can you see? You put the coin here, you know, and this is the piggy bank. It's very nice because this piggy bank is like a, a, a telephone uh, booth, England, you know, where people used to make uh, phone calls in the past. Okay, this is my piggy bank. Okay, sometimes I save money. I'm not going to say every day, but I often or commonly do it. Be like sandcastle that happen when you go to the beach. You know, sometimes the highest is the winner and sometimes they are very lovely. And especially when they are built out with your parents or with your best friends and there's like a competition, okay, about uh, who can create the best or the bigger or the tallest one. Okay, very good. Do car wheels. You know, be careful. You can't break bones. I have seen people breaking wrists. I have seen people, okay, uh, uh, you know, uh, break, uh, for example, uh, knuckles or sometimes uh, uh, the ankle. So be careful. Yeah, it's very gymnastic. I love it, but you got to be careful. Read comics books. Not very common nowadays, okay? But back in my time, Marvel, Marvel, Magazine, Marvel, wow, it, it was not a lot nowadays that you can go to the cinema and you can see 
uh, you know, Thanos and uh, Ca uh, Captain America and all of them. No, no, no. Before it was on magazine and you read them and that was very, very famous. Guys, all this information that I show you today, if you see, is a uh, six, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What? Gosh, man, three, four, five, six, seven, seven times six, 42, 42 images with vocabulary related. Guys, you know what is going to happen in our next class today? I gave you the vocabulary, but in our next class, you <clears throat> are going to give me the vocabulary. So that means, guys, that in our next class, teacher is going to be keeping... A and you know what, guys? I'm going to keep an eye just to keep you can remember the vocabulary so far. Until our next encounter, I'm going to just wish you the best. Guys, sleep tight. Okay, study a lot. Guys, see you. See you tomorrow, bye guys. Bye-bye, teachers. Bye. See you soon. Take care. Bye, teachers. See you. Bye, teachers. Bye, teachers.